I have a haul for you today, but I did not, repeat, did not go shopping. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my ticket at the lake. You heard me right. I have a haul, but I did not go shopping, which is a recurring theme here at my ticket at the lake. Hey, she went shopping again. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, I went shopping again. Um... I didn't do it this time. No, I did not. But I am here to share it with you because it's amazing. And here is a good answer to the question, where do I get supplies? I don't have any money and I don't have a lot of places to shop. And every place is closed and no place has anything. And the stuff they do have is too expensive. <gasps> hit your friends and family up. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to hit them up for anything. You just tell them, hey... I'm starting this junk journaling adventure and they say what the hell is a junk journal and you try to kindly explain it to them and they go oh so you'll take my garbage and I, and, and you say yes I absolutely I will take your garbage <laughs> but have no fear it's not actually garbage it may be garbage to them but it's not garbage to us and it's not always garbage like these things are not this might be but these are not garbage and i have a whole bag of goodies to share with you so most of this is from my friend leanne who did the so crafty it's criminal chad isaac video with me a while back we'll do more of that eventually but she's a, a big supporter of my junk journal adventure and and uh, she's always on the lookout for goodies, for fodder, for my projects. And she brought me a grocery bag, paper grocery bag, which of course I will use, full of goodies, which of course I will use. <laughs> I just wanted to share it with you. It's a friend haul. Uh, my mom brought me some goodies too, and they're mixed in, and I'll try to differentiate, not that you care, but I think credit where credit is due is always a good idea. Uh, so let's just start with this first little guy. Humorous quote. It's just a little book. Every page has one quote. Nice big print. You know, so you just tear it out, vintage it up, stick it on your page, and you're good. Cut the fringe off if you like. Some people love the fringe. Uh, use it as a journal card if you don't like the one that's on back cover that up if you really like the one that's on back make a copy so that you can use both <clears throat> this is great what is this called great quotations inc 1984 so this book has been sitting around someplace for a lot of years and now it's going to get a whole new life so i took out a few of my favorites kind of funny i like them most all of them are the ones i've read are very funny i can resist everything but temptation oscar wilde i drink to make more people other people more interesting why not here's one for all of us we do not stop playing because we are old we grow old because we stop playing so true there's nothing so annoying as to have two people go right on talking when you're trying to interrupt <laughs> I love it. Anyway, big fun freebies. Um, she brought me this wonderful Shutterfly catalog, which has these terrific bits of cardstock, fantastic little fussy cutting, um, beautiful lettering, phrases, and, and words. There's so much that could be done with this. Uh, including just use it as a glue book. Just start filling in over the stuff you don't like. This is right up Cat Hands Alley. She likes these these uh, samples or, or looks. They make great trims. Super easy. That's a fun Christmas tree. White with the blue, green, and silver and teal. How fun is that? Something different. Very fun. Now there's a truckload of napkins in here. And I'm pretty sure these are from my mom. 
but I have been kvetching and whining for quite some time to anyone who'll stand still long enough to listen that napkins, pretty ones, are expensive and hard to find cheap. So now I'm getting napkins. Again, I'm a big believer and ask and the universe <laughs> delivers good or bad. So be careful what you ask for. That's the saying, isn't it? Because you just might get it. So I'm very c careful about what I let run through my brain. At least I'm trying to be. But Leanne also never ceases to amaze me. She bought, found all these fantastic Halloween napkins on clearance. And not only did she see them, but she was thoughtful enough to pick them up for me. Buy them for me. Look how cute. Witchful thinking. That's not just Halloween. That is, that's me 24-7. She also found these fabulous stretchable patterned book covers. <clears throat> pre-made so maybe 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 if I wanted to cover a junk journal the easy way oh look at that it fits like a glove look at that A little bit of tweaking and look at there I have and it almost matches the inside papers how fun is that so easy what else do we have oh, red white and blue that might go on dad's journal that make my life a whole lot easier and faster and I've been toying with the idea of making just a plain old black and white that would be perfect I have another project that that's perfect for as well. More on that upcoming. But how fun are those? I would have never thought. Stretchable uh, book covers. You know, I, I would have thought I had to go the hard way. Glue it, sew it, paper it, measure it, cut it, hope it all works. This is way easier. Way easier. Thank you for the idea and inspiration. Holy smokes. You just never know where it's going to come from. You just never know. She also bought me this silicone ice cube tray. Uh, but, it, but it's got lots of crafty uses as well. Fimo clay and putty and... Um, I'm not sure exactly what else. I could make some fun dog cookies with it as well. Uh, lots of fun things that I could do with ice cube trays. She brought me some interesting reading material. Chickadee books helping organizations and Sandy Hook families. I'm big into chickadees. In fact, just before I started this video, I was standing outside watching I just recently started feeding the chickadees in my backyard and they are fascinating little fat little fuzzy critters they're so adorable uh, so she brought me that um, for that but oh, also she pointed out there's all kinds of different uh, QR codes throughout uh, lots of great pictures in here to use for different projects oh, Charlotte Foy photographer showcases wildlife all over. look at that little face i have a couple of journals that that will go in look one of my favorite sayings is for fuck's sake of course a lot of people prefer fox for fuck's sake whatever either way i have a new affiliate a new affinity for foxes fox eye multiple foxes little whatever snowy owls, eagles, hummingbirds. So she's oh, loons and their babies. Oh, 
she's always on the lookout for goodies for me. Packing paper, because I'm addicted to craft, craft, craft packing paper. I'm always talking about jelly plate printing and mark making, and so she saved this for me from her citrus purchase. Same thing, extra big, kind of a funky shape. It's not just the plain round. They kind of, they're kind of have diamonds at the, so they almost have corners. They're round top and bottom and corners on the side. That would make a very different print, almost a diamond pattern than the regular bubble wrap. That's awesome to have something different. Maybe that not a lot of other people have. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it other than just sit here and play with it in the light. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That's junk journal gold right there, or silver spectrum or whatever. That's awesome. This is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> it's, it's from the pharmacy department, but look at It's a magnetic box. That has junk journal something or other written all over it, does it not? That's the coolest thing ever. Pre-built. I don't know how I'm going to, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use it. I don't ever know how I'm going to do with any of this stuff that I keep collecting, but I know it's going to be fun. I just, because I've said in other videos that I say it all the time, I love these magnets and magnets that, that do that. I just think that's cool pages or closures or whatever. But because I have all these dogs running around, they're very dangerous if somebody swallows one or five. So I don't, I don't buy them. I don't have them in the house. That way I can't drop them accidentally or they can't ever accidentally get into them. But this I can keep track of somewhere safe and make, make something fun with that. Even the United States Postal Service got in on the act. They sent me this handy dandy. If you use the code and go print them off, these are $5.50 worth of stamps. But I read the fine print, and if you hook up for it, it's $18 a month. <laughs> no thanks. I'll just keep... This is all sticky. This is all just one giant sticker sheet. The whole thing. And so again, I'm making my dad a patriotic red, white, and blue book. This will be fun for trims and cut out the little post office and use these maybe as page tabs. Pre-made. Thank you, USPS. Thanks for playing along. That's awesome. Oh, I forgot another. Happy Halloween. I love these. Oh, they're a Ditch. I think she found the biggest QR code that ever was. Almost, you know, like an eighth of a page. That's a big QR code. More packaging. She knows I like this time to make, just fold it in half and it makes a fine journal cover. Pockets on top. Love it. One of my favorite journals is made out of that. In fact, I keep it at the ready all the time. It's just right here. That's what it's made out of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have my pockets up top. My traveler's notebook inside. My pen at the ready. A tearaway notepad that... This is one of my favorite things ever. And you can see right here, it's... It's that. I just dirtied it up, covered it up. Love it. So now I can make more. Very cool. And just like the QR codes, she's saving these for me. That's a different one I've not seen before with all the colors, brights and pastels. That's different. Speaking of QR codes, have you noticed since we've had this conversation a few weeks back how creative they're getting with their QR codes? I can see, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but the year after that, 
doing just an all QR code journal because they're so pretty. They're using color and they're using clip art and they're using different shapes. All kinds of creativity going into the QR codes versus just this plain Jane little what everybody has done for so long. But now they're finally taken off. They're getting more creative with them, which is awesome. She knows that um, I like to wax my thread with scented wax. Fire Amber, so nice. Coconut Lime, awesome. So I have lots and lots and lots of wax to wax my embroidery floss. Why do I wax my embroidery floss? Because it makes it tangle less. It makes it not less. It makes it easier to unknot when it does get knotted up so plus it adds a little bit of layer a nice little scent to my journals because i use that waxed thread to sew my my signatures either together or in the book cover and having them impregnated with a nice scent it's just another nice layer for those who don't mind scented things uh to the books and i have to say i'm one of those people i like my stuff to smell freshy fresh nice nice so that's pretty awesome. Packaging, extra large, nice big bowl. That's pretty cool. And I don't know what this is gonna be, but it, it just looks like the perfect little storage box for a nice, square, elegant little journal. Can you imagine having that beautiful box, maybe adorned in velvet or brocade or some kind of nice, fabric and you open it up and there's a matchy matchy journal inside that nice neat little box yeah very cool and the handled craft paper bag that it came in that too is going to be fodder for the junk journal adventure that we have going on here Whew. That is my friend Hall. That's my friend and family Hall. Because mom had something to do with it. Even the U.S. Postal Service got in on it. Again, if you don't have a lot of supplies, just put a bug in your friend's ear and your family's ear and just say, Hey, these are the things I'm looking for. Some craft paper, paper bags, decorative napkins, old books. They will be happy to help you and get rid of the stuff out of their house because right now especially right now it's the new year everyone's purging cleaning simplifying clarifying purging the basement cleaning the attic emptying out the garage now's the time to ask your friends and family to support you in your junk journal adventure that is all i have for you today i'm gonna go put all my toys away clean up this rat mess of a studio love up my beastly my take at the lake, out for now.